Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm teaching one of the players I coach about the importance of maintaining a low stance. The player, her name is Stephanie. She's been playing for about six months, so she's still very much a beginner player. However, the tips in this video are not only applicable to beginner players, but also players of higher standards. And also it's advice I should really take on myself as I often end up a little bit too upright. Um, so maintaining a low stance is a really key part of table tennis and it's going to help you to be able to move quicker and to be able to play more dynamic attacking shots. Let's take a look at the coaching session. So here's Stephanie. Um, she's been playing table tennis for a few months, so still very much um, a beginner player. And um, her shots above the table are starting to get um, more consistent. So we've started to give a little more focus to what's happening under the table with her feet and her stance. Now, as you can see from us just warming up here, that she is um, quite upright and her feet are a little bit planted. So in this coaching session, I'm gonna try and get Stephanie to get lower, to get bouncier and use a more dynamic table tennis stance. I want you to get your feet a little bit wider apart. Now, what I'd like you to do is soften the knees. Soft knees, soft knees, soft knees. Knees feel soft. They're not locked in, soft. Then from your waist, I want that lean to come forwards, okay? So that should hopefully make you feel as though the weight has now moved towards the front of your feet. And you're still a little bit bouncy. And this is the stance that we're going to try to adopt, okay? Front of the feet, soft knees, little bouncy, and having that weight coming forwards a little bit. So you're lower and you have a more dynamic stance. Here are some exercises that we're doing together um, without having to hit the ball so we can really just focus on the body position, the stance and staying low. So we can see we're doing exercise here where we're sidestepping across the side of the table. <laughs> okay, pause there. Whew. That was good. So you can see that you can start moving very fast from side to side, faster than I can. And I'm out of breath. There was literally no need for me to do that. I should have just made you do it. We have another exercise here where we are mirroring each other's movements. That's quite a fun one to do. Um, and another one where um, I'm getting Stephanie to stand at the end of the table and then move in and touch a bat when I call out a number. So the stance, low stance is good. I still think we can be a little bit more dynamic coming back out of the table. So when you step in, moving on the front of your foot, you feel the weight is on your foot and then pushing back out. So I really wanna see you a little more bouncy when you come back out of the table, not just in static, in little bounce. These exercises are really useful for a player to begin with um, because they don't have to worry about hitting a ball. So they can really just focus on the stance, getting the weight on the front of the foot, trying to get a little bit of bounce in their legs and getting that fast movement. Now we put Stephanie's improved stance to the test. We get back on the table and hit some balls. In this exercise, Stephanie plays all her shots to my backhand and I put the ball anywhere on Stephanie's half of the table. So we can see that you start the rally really well. And I think on the backhand side, you're doing well at staying low. Sometimes on that forehand side, there's a little tendency just to come up. So seeing that if, when you're playing those forehands, maybe you could drive yourself lower. Okay, let's go. Unlucky. Good. Keep low, keep that head down. Nice, Stephanie. Unlucky. When you're moving to that wide position, I think your right leg goes, oh sorry, your left leg goes. Make sure that your right leg goes as well. 
So both feet can go, that'll get you a bit closer to the ball. Forehand. Good. That was really good, well done. Okay, so final bit. Let's see if you can keep that constant motion the whole time. So at no point do I want you to be static. Even if I'm putting the ball in the same position, I want to see that there's that little bounce so that you're ready to take a quick movement again. Good. Keep low. Keep moving those feet. Keep low. Good. Well done. Really good rally. Very good, much, much improved to where we started from. Have to work harder, feels physically more demanding, but the benefit is that you can play better table tennis, you can react quicker, you can move faster. So your whole game is going to be able to move beyond the beginner stage to that more intermediate and then kicking onto an advanced um, progression as well. And well done to Stephanie for making good improvement on her stance throughout that coaching session. I think there are so many of us in amateur table tennis who just stand too upright and I'm as guilty as anyone. So trying to maintain that lower stance makes a huge difference and allows you to play much more positively and to be able to move quicker. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.